So I'm heading to Publix. Um, should be zero disengagement drive anyway. Uh, hopefully zero intervention. Um, just going to try and keep the GoPro with me at all times ready to go. Uh, just to try and catch any weird things. So not just using dash cam footage that people can say, I, I don't think you were in full self-driving or, you know, whatever. Um, I don't know. Some people just don't believe that full self-driving can mess up. So, yeah, um, don't have my 360 up, but got the GoPro. car was going way too fast. The speed limit's 35. Um, it was showing uh, 40 on the screen. Yeah, so I did hit the brakes there. Definitely needed disengagement. It has never had the speed limit wrong there, ever. It's always shown 35. As long as I've used... Uh, even autopilot when they started showing speed limits. Okay, so we're in a 55 zone, and it's going 50. Um, I don't know if it's going to speed up anymore or not. Alright, there we're at 55 now. It sometimes just takes a really long time to speed up. Yeah, now it's slowing down. I'm gonna hit the accelerator. Okay. We'll see if it will just stay up here. It's so obviously 12.3.3 is still airing on the lower end of auto speed. It just slowed down for no reason, again. And you can see the regen bar, it's, every time it slows down a little, it's using a regen. Like right now, it's slowing down. Lots of regen. And then I'm going to hit the accelerator again, get it back up to 60. It's one thing if it does that when there's a lot of traffic, but, you know, it's wide open road. Right here, the speed limit drops to 45. And are we going to slow down? Oh, okay. Um, and right up here, it drops to 35. 
It slowed down enough that I didn't hit the brake, but right here, 35. Car was not slowing for new speed limit. And cops sit right here for speed traps. So, yeah, like I just said on the voice note, cops like to sit at that Dollar General all the time. Catch speeders. I, you don't go 15 over the speed limit. So it did nice acceleration up the hill once we passed out of the city limits. I'm going to tap it up to above 50 now. Um, well, it went even higher uh, than where I tapped it to. Right here, it should be speeding up to get on the highway at full speed. So I just hit the accelerator again to get it up above 60. What's it doing? Alright, so that's the first time in a while that it hasn't actually done a merge there. Alright, so, um, yeah, I mean, the, so, the biggest issue with version 12, uh, and it's really the source of most disengagements and interventions for me is definitely the speed issues, both going too fast when the car goes through a new speed limit um, that's lower or going too slow where it needs to speed up. And then, of course, at the beginning, um, it had the wrong speed limit in a spot that it's never had a wrong speed limit. I mean, I'm talking like, I don't know, when when they added uh, speed limit signs in um, autopilot five years ago. Um, yeah, it's, it's never had the wrong speed limit on that road. So very, very interesting for that one. All right, heading home from Publix. Let's see how it does. Uh, a little weird here, it didn't pull out straight. So if someone was turning into the parking lot, we would have been blocking them, uh, which isn't great. Uh, it's never had a problem there before. The times it has driven out of the parking lot.
so right here uh, we'll see if it merges correctly um, instead of just following the line at the end it should put on a turn signal and move over yep just like this just perfect um, so it did take a second probably because that Jeep was speeding up in the right lane instead of getting over or backing off and letting us get over um, Sometimes human drivers are the problem. All right, so that was an expected um, kind of quirk of FSD here. It says changing lanes to follow route. It always does that in that spot, um, even though there are two lanes on the highway. So even if there were no cars in the right lane, it would still get the left lane there. So right here, we'll never know if version 12 would have fixed this. Um, they painted the line, so now it doesn't swerve, but it does show a third lane on the navigation, which I think was part of the problem before. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't swerve into the shoulder anymore because they painted the line. All right, so speed limit's 35. Um, it shows that we're going too fast and we need to slow down. Uh, the car needs to be able to read those kind of signs. Currently does not. So it is speeding up on its own. Um, despite showing 35 on the screen, the speed limit is actually 45 right here, and then goes up to 55 at this sign here where it splits. Now I am going to put us in the right lane because we're just riding here and there's someone behind me uh, who wants to pass. The car should have gotten over. Alright. So, if you just noticed the, uh, green regen bar, it slowed me down for no reason. I'm gonna hit the accelerator back up. Auto speed is, um... It's really great in neighborhoods, uh, keeping you at a slow speed, but if you're on a big wide open road like this with, you know, just average amount of traffic or less, um, it, it goes very slow. And even if you tap the accelerator to get it up above, like I did before, it will slow back down again. Then you have to hit the accelerator again to get it to speed back up. So right here, the speed limit drops to 35 at the uh, city limit, which is right over this hill. The car does not slow down on its own. You'll watch 
So right here, well, it is slowing down a little. No. Nope. Speed limit drops to 35. The car needs to slow to 40 or so, um, not stay at 50. So again, I've shown that spot before. Um, the car needs to slow way down, and it used to before, but now with the whole auto speed thing, it just does whatever it wants. Um, as I've shown many times before, uh, the cops here do like to sit just beyond these speed limit changes and um, catch speeders. And also, that is something that NHTSA specifically made Tesla do a recall for, was not slowing down quickly after speed limit changes. So, I expect NHTSA to get involved again if they don't get this fixed very soon. Alright, here's another one. I'm going 35. Uh, the speed limit changes right at the light. So it's slowing a little. But not enough. Um, speed limit drops to 20 miles per hour. Car needs to slow below 25 instead of staying above 30. So again, uh, the cops will sit right there in the back parking lot of the post office or in the gas station parking lot across the street and catch speeders. So it needs to slow down. It actually needs to slow down when it sees the sign so that it's going the correct speed when it passes the sign. That is the correct way because technically you are speeding if you pass that sign going faster. All right, so, of course, I, I talk about the, the cops and catching speeders, but that truck is going way fast, going faster than we are, and we're going too fast. Uh, see the flashing sign? Yeah. Car needs to slow way down. The speed limit's 20, and safe speed is really 20 to 22 here. So, yeah, I tried scrolling the wheel, it didn't do anything. Um, so right here, this is perfect. 19, this is comfortable, it's safe for pedestrians if someone were to walk out in front of the car. Um, that's perfect. Why sometimes it decides to go faster, I'm not sure. Um, going to reroute. Okay. So very good. Um, it did not put on a turn signal there, but probably because I set the route after I was in the turn lane. I don't know. Um, I was talking and forgot to remove my white point. So if I were to call out any issues with version 12, the speed issues is the big one. Like, get rid of the speed issues and I have almost zero disengagement, zero interventions most of the time. Um, one other issue that's potentially unsafe is sometimes the car will ride very close or on the edge of the road, like on the edge of the asphalt. Um, or on the edge, the, the line at the edge. Um, 
and that could be dangerous if if the road was uh, rough right there. Um, the other issue with that is there have been a lot of reports of people curving their wheels. Um, it's the same issue. It's just some places it's getting too close to the edge. Uh, that one, you know, isn't always a, a big deal. It's not always there, but um, it could be a big deal. The speed issues, though, are just, they're so constant and uh, just unpredictable. Sometimes, you know, the speed's okay and sometimes it's not. That I don't know how they'll fix it. All right, here's the turn at the wall. It's, it made it, but it was really close. Um, I mean, I, I don't like how close it gets there. Uh, it's very uncomfortable when you see the car going toward the wall and then it turns back to the left at the last second. Um, version 11.4, the whole 11.4.1 through 4.9, it was perfect there. It was like they hard coded it, which they may have, uh, to turn just perfectly every time. Um, but now that version 12 is back, I'm lucky if it even makes it sometimes. And when it does, it's like that. It's, you know, really close and uncomfortable feeling. Um, so going to make one last turn and we're done. So this intersection, sometimes it pulls all the way into the middle of the intersection, like this, and then makes the turn. Uh, I don't know why it's, you know, there is a hill there. It can't technically see very far, but, you know, once it's in the middle of the intersection, it might as well go. I mean, you're not, somebody comes through and misses that stop sign, you're already in the road. So anyway, uh, let's see, it's going to pull in here, um, and there is a gate, so, oh, there is a gate there, and the car was not stopping at all. All right, so. There we go. That is the whole trip, and that ending was not very good. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> gates are another issue that need to be solved. That would have been bad if I would have let it go. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.